The very first time I had a chance to interview you, you had a pull-out grill. Yeah. Now you have perms. Yeah, man, I went ahead and, you know what I'm saying? A dang permanent pulling my teeth, man. Yeah, honestly, I just went ahead and got perm because it, it's, it's just more comfortable. Like, at first I was like, uh, and I ain't have to shave my teeth. See, a lot of rappers and a lot of people got to shave their teeth down, you feel me? I ain't have to do that, you know what I'm saying? So I went ahead and I went perm, man. I'm... Why didn't you have to shave your teeth down? Uh, I don't know. I think the dentist said the way my teeth was, like, they was just, I don't know, they just didn't shave them. Like, I ain't have gaps or nothing, so I can't really tell you why. They did have to shave my, uh, what's it called, the canine, the fangs, the canine. They only had to shave them down a little bit. But as far as my teeth, like, they ain't even touch them. Now, did you make the decision to get permanent diamond teeth knowing that they didn't have to shave your teeth down that much, or you were going to do it regardless whether they shaved them or didn't? Uh... He told me, I asked him over the phone. I was like, you gonna have to shave my teeth? Like, I was talking to Johnny, um, one of Johnny, you feel me? It was like, no, nah, we don't even gotta shave your teeth. So I'm just like, Shh, you know what I'm saying? Fuck it. I went ahead and did it. So now, that made me, you know what I'm saying? That made me like, yeah. Now, you're referencing Johnny here. Which Johnny? Johnny Dang. Diamond Butt. And for time reference, it's July 2021 now. Yeah. What age were you when you made that decision to get them? I was the same age. I was 22. I got the, I just got them done like November. Yeah, I got mine done in November. Of 2020? Yeah, of 2020. Yeah. So I don't even think it's been a year. Nope, not yet. No, not yet. Getting there. Getting there. But not I yet. I need to go get them taken out and clean. And we'll talk about that here in a second. But let's talk about this first. Yeah. Now, how does this work? You go to a jeweler first? You go to a dentist first? Is it a package where the jeweler includes the dentist or vice versa? So you go to the jeweler first, and he going to mold you. And you know what I'm saying? I got molded in the parking lot. He took the mold back to uh, Houston. Then uh, got the diamonds made. You know what I'm saying? I went to Houston and try them on to make sure they, you know what I'm saying, of course they ain't fit all the way on, but I tried them on to make sure they would, you feel, make sure they were straight, make sure they fit, and they look good, you know what I'm saying? So then I went to the dentist. Do you use his dentist, or do you yeah. a dentist of your own yeah, choosing? Yeah, he, he had a dentist for me. He had a dentist, so whole package, everything, everything, it was quick. Care to share care to share the name of the dentist? I forgot. I swear I forgot. I don't even remember. Now, when it came to Johnny Dang, why did you choose him as your jeweler for this set of teeth? Um uh, honestly because he's been doing it for so long, you feel me? And when somebody do it for so long, they experience they just get better over time. So, you feel me? And uh, a couple people referenced me to go to him, but he just been doing it for so long and it be looking good, like, you know what I'm saying? And everybody else be happy. So, you know, that's why I went. It's just like a restaurant that got five stars. Everybody go here because the food good, always been good. So, you know. Now, for transparency, was this something you paid for or was it for promo? I paid for it. <laughs> or they be having... Promo, they be doing promo. They I don't know. That's why I'm asking. Damn, that's why I should have did. I pay for them. I know there are some jewelers that offer promo for some items, and I didn't know if that was the case here, so thought I'd just ask. Yeah. Now, you said this was done in a parking lot. Was this done in a parking lot in Houston? Nah, we made in Florida. So he sent uh, my boy Chance. From over at, uh, shit. And he came to Florida. We met up, did the mold. He went back. I think I, a week later, I flew to Houston. Is that an extra charge to have someone come out to you for the mold? Nah, we, um, 
he he offered, you know what I'm saying? We, you feel me? We cool, like, me and Chance, like, we, you know what I'm saying? So he came out, it wasn't nothing. Now, how long did it take for you to actually get the set of teeth back a week? after you do the mold? Yeah, it took me like a week. It wasn't none. It took like a week. You go to the dentist. You get them installed. Was the experience painful at all? The installation? Uh, it was uncomfortable. It wasn't really painful. At, at some points, it was uncomfortable, like when she was shaving. I feel like if I would have got all my teeth shaved for real, that it would have been uncomfortable even more. But it, it was it was more uncomfortable than really painful. But it was quick. Like the dentist was finna close, so she was rushing. So she made it quick. Like she didn't even give me time to say ow. Really? Were you on any drugs or medication at the time? Nah, nah, I was sober. They didn't give you anything to numb the possible pain if there was any? Nah, they ain't numb me. No shot, no nothing. After you get them installed, you look into the mirror for the very first time. What did you think? I was, uh, I liked them, you feel me? I was fucking with them because, like, my teeth was already straight. Like, I honestly, I ain't, like, a lot of girls and shit that I was, they was like, why you did that? Your teeth was, your teeth was cute. Why you, when they got perm, them permanents, why you did that? But it's like, they liked them too, though, because they so straight. Like, you look at shit. Like, they straight. Just, my teeth was the same way, though. You feel me? So, it looked good on my teeth. You know what I'm saying? Now, I'm going to use this phrase respectfully. Mm -hmm. But was getting this permanent set of diamond teeth an instant form of clout by any chance? Nah. Hell nah, because I ain't do it for that reason. Like, I said that in one of my songs. I ain't even post when I got, I think Johnny posted it, but I ain't even post because it's a way of life. Like, I'm from Florida, so, you know what I'm saying? Everybody got grills, diamonds, pull out. Diamonds just, like, another level just to show, like, hey, I made it from here. Like, we had grill, we had gold teeth in high school, ninth, 10th grade, 11th grade and shit, you feel me? So it was like, it wasn't no clout thing. We been doing this, like, this is a way of life for us. A lot of other people, like, I can't really speak for people like, you know what I'm saying, a lot of these other rappers, but this is really how we live, you know what I'm saying? It is what we do. Like. Was there ever a thought on permanent gold teeth instead of permanent diamond teeth, or permanent diamond was the way it was going to be for you no matter what? Yeah, I said if I ever went permanent, it would be diamonds, but I don't know. I, I, I would have, I don't know. I feel like. I would have got permanent gold T2 though, but I would have went 22K. I would have went all the way with it, you know what I'm saying? But permanent gold raw, I, to be honest, I snatched these out and put gold in, to be honest. That gold shit raw. When it comes to these permanent diamond teeth that you have today, how many teeth do you actually get done? Um, I got eight on eight. Total I ain't want to go, I ain't, cause I ain't gonna lie, I wasn't really sure, so it was like, you feel me? I ain't gonna do all my teeth. But people be thinking I got like a mouth full just cause like, mm -mm. Now, how did you come to that decision of eight on eight? Cause some will get 10 on 10 or maybe go all the way back. What led to that number there, eight on eight? I don't know, like me and my homeboys, like when we, when we got our golds, our gold teeth, Eight on eight was just that number. Like it was, it's just like perfect. Like you know what I'm saying? Cause when we talk, you can't see our, all our back teeth anyway. So it's like the only way you see it is if you like, you feel me? That's why that's where that comes from. Niggas doing that, they trying to show. But it just fit me. Like that shit just fit. When you're referencing gold teeth here in this portion of the interview, you had pull out gold teeth at one time, or you had yeah. okay? Cause like. I got pullouts because I wasn't really sure, like, you feel me? Like, I thought permanent, I thought getting permanent would ruin my teeth. You know what I'm saying? I still thought about, you know, how some people be like, 
oh, you got to pull out because it is. I just ain't want to ruin my teeth because my teeth, like I said, my teeth was straight. You feel me? My teeth was, you know what I'm saying? Some of them dudes that just get permanent and don't care is because their teeth are already be fucked up. You feel me? So I I wasn't really sure, but, you know, after a while, I'm just like, man, I'm going to go ahead and do it all the way. And just give me a little bit more back history. What age were you when you get pull out gold teeth for the first time? I was 17. It was my 10th grade. It was in 10th grade. I had got like bottoms. Honestly, I think I had, when I was 16, I had did my own grill for the first time. I had ordered it on my mama card from uh, this jeweler in Jacksonville, I think. And he had sent me the mold. It was like, it came up like 800 and something. I had took my mama car, ordered the mold, paid for the girl. You feel me? The mold came in. I'm doing my shit, man. I sent my mold back. He sent me my grill back. I'm talking about my shit do not fit. It, my shit so big. So I'm, I'm trying to put them in. One big, one small, so I'm trying to put them in. That shit ain't work. I fucked around and break them. Wasted all that money, man. I was so mad, bro. But I eventually, my mama ended up, I think my mama ended up getting me my own. Because my mama had goals, too. She had a bottom girl. You know what I'm saying? That's why I'm saying. Like, it ain't no clout thing. It's just, this just our way of living in Florida. You know what I'm saying? So she eventually ended up getting me my own. Then I eventually start, I eventually got my own. I done ran through so many girls. That's another reason I got permanent too, because I was losing all my goals. You know what I'm saying? When they pull out, it's they easy to lose. So I just went to perm. Your mother's bottom teeth, are they permanent or was hers pull out? Nah, you know, girls, they don't really, unless like, you know, that's my mom, so she ain't got perms, but she had pull out. She had a couple, since she had them before me. To be honest, she had a couple. Now, when that first set of golds actually breaks, do you end up melting that gold and reusing it for something else, or what'd you end up doing with it? I that? ain't know about that. I ain't know I could do that, man. I threw that shit away. Oh, I was mad, though. And what age were you when you actually get the pull-out diamond teeth? Um, I don't got pull-outs, diamond. Oh, okay. <laughs> I got permanent diamond. Okay. I just got these. Well, no, I thought you had a set of permanent. I, I thought you had a set of pull-out diamonds at one point. And uh, I okay. never get pull-out diamonds. Okay. Diamonds, if I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it all the way. I'm not finna drop all that money on no pull-out diamonds and lose them. Gold, like solid gold teeth, a little cheaper. You feel me? But no, nah, I ain't doing pull-out diamonds. I lose them bitches. When it comes to the eight on eight with the permanent diamond teeth, though, happy with that decision? Yeah, it's cool. I'm finna go take, listen, I'm going to take my shit journey. I'm going to take my shit out. I'm coming next month in August. If my teeth be fucked up, because y'all told me my shit was going to be straight. If my teeth be fucked up. I want a refund. <laughs> nah, I think I'm just going to have to get them white though. But my teeth going to be straight, though. Now, speaking of Johnny, do you actually meet him at all during this process? Yeah, Johnny, I'm a boy, man. What? What's he like? Same way he is. The same way you see him on the internet. Diamond boy. You know what I'm saying? Johnny cool. Johnny be hanging, man. He be in Florida. He was in Tampa so much during the Super Bowl season. Everybody now, love. Everybody fuck with Johnny, man. When it comes to your set of permanent diamond teeth, do you know the color, the cut, the clarity, the carrot, or the setting? Uh, I got honeycomb. I can't remember. I ain't even gonna lie. I got honeycomb. I know I got the honeycomb cut. Um, as far as carrots, um, I don't know. I I know I got flawless, flawless diamonds. But um, and I know it's honeycomb setting. I I don't remember. I should have asked though. 
that's where we be going wrong with these jewelers. We don't really get into detail and you know what I'm saying? We just wanna go. Mm -hmm. How much did this cost back then? When I got them? Yeah. Uh it was twenty eight, twenty eight thousand. What does that feel like having twenty eight thousand dollars in your mouth? They say talk is cheap. Somebody lied. Talk is not cheap when you got twenty eight thousand in your mouth, but they gotta pay me to talk now. Was that amount of money that you spent on it worth it? Yeah, it it's cool, you know what I'm saying? I got permanent, so it, it's just like a tattoo in a way, you know what I'm saying? I I'll drop a bag on a tattoo because it's like, that's permanent. That's going to be with me for life. That's where people go wrong with. Don't be scared to spend money on something that's permanent because it's like, this going to be with you. So make sure you get the best quality, the best, you know what I'm saying? Everything, if it's permanent. Now, I have a few questions for those wondering about permanent diamond teeth when it comes to some of these subjects that I'm about to go over now. Yeah. Food. Can you mm -hmm. eat anything you want with these perms? Yeah, for sure. At first, I ain't gonna lie, it was a little uncomfortable. That shit was weird as hell. I'm trying to eat. like It just feel like I'm chewing on blocks. You know what I'm saying? But over time, that's why I'm saying permanent. At first, I ain't even gonna cap to you. At first, I got permanent, like, on some trying to prove point, kind of like, you feel me? Oh, pull out, I ain't getting pull on getting permanent. But it's actually better. You can eat better. It, it feel better. It feel like my teeth. Sometimes I be forgetting they even in my mouth. It just feel like regular teeth, like permanent. It's it's just easier. You don't lose them. They easier to eat with. You know what I'm saying? You floss, you brush, you do everything just like regular teeth. Ever knocked a diamond out? Nah, none of mine came out. That's why I'm saying like, don't be scared to drop a bag on the best quality. If you can't afford the best quality, you don't need it get them. Some people, like, they just want something so bad. Like, oh, I want diamonds so bad. I'm finna go drop five bands on some SI or some, you feel me, some cheap diamonds in, in the long run. Because in the long run, you're gonna stop giving a fuck about this shit. So, at least make sure it's up to par. Like, the quality of it. Can you drink anything you want? Yeah. I try not to drink. Um, I don't drink like colored stuff like that, really. Anyways, I drink a lot of lemonade, water. I don't drink sodas and stuff, so I can't really tell you if, how does it affect, but I drunk like red Kool-Aid and stuff and thinking it's gonna stain, but real diamonds don't stain, so. Are you a smoker? Sometimes, but I smoke plenty. I don't smoke with these in plenty of time. Marijuana, tobacco? We yeah. Does it get cloudy when you smoke? My diamonds? Yes. No, these the real ones. Them fake ones, them CZs. Bitch, turn it to a rainy day. When it comes to brushing, do you have to use a special toothbrush? Yeah, you gotta use soft. Make sure you use the soft bristle so you don't scratch the diamond. An electronic or non-electronic toothbrush? I use electronic. Do you have to use a special toothpaste? Yeah, I try to use like Arm & Hammer or um, charcoal. But um, the dentist gave me like, the dentist gave me a, a whole bag full of shit and I left it. I left it and used it and I was so mad, bro. I'm like, dang. Hopefully they have it for you when you go Hopefully. back. Hopefully. Any health effects or dental issues since the installation? Nah, um, it's cool. Sometimes my, like, my gum, so I was tripping one time. I'm like, man, my shit was bleeding. Like when I brushed my teeth, like my gums would bleed. I wasn't sure, I thought it was cause of the diamonds, but eventually that stopped, so. I ain't really no issue, but it's cool. Do you know what caused that, the bleeding? Uh, probably just brushing too rough. Did it change the way you spoke at all? Nah, nah, it ain't changed. You know, niggas be getting, like, pullouts. Like, they kinda, nah, I wouldn't really say that. 
it depends on your jeweler. Like sometimes the jeweler just have the gold just be too big, so it affect the way people talk. But and uh, just to piggyback, the bleeding gums situation stopped at some point. Yeah, but I think that's where with even if you don't got diamonds, like that happens sometimes. So. How long did it last for? Uh, couple weeks a few weeks now w you've had pullouts in your life once upon a time yeah. what are your thoughts on people with pullouts now that you have perms um ain't shit wrong with pullouts like you ain't gotta man niggas be trying to prove points bro like bro Get that shit, man. You can get what you can afford. You feel me? You feel me? Get what you can afford. Like everybody can't go get pullouts. It's niggas thugging niggas in the young niggas. You feel me? Like everybody can't just go get permanent. And shit, some people don't want to mess their teeth up. How you gonna tell me I'm lame for getting pullouts? Cause I don't want to mess my teeth up. You gonna let another person tell you you lame for getting pullouts? Cause you don't want to mess your teeth up. So you want me to fuck my teeth up to prove to you that I'm cool? That make you lame. Can you tell the difference between somebody with pullouts and perms? Sometimes I can, sometimes I can't. I ain't gonna lie. It's some jewelers out there that'll make it. I, like I, to be honest, I would have if I really wanted to. I would have got like some pullouts, but just have them deep cut. Like the cut in between, they be making some pullouts look official, boy. For real, but um, most of the time, I could tell the difference. 